React without hooks. A different approach to use React. Yes, uh, React is a very good uh, library and use hooks to, yeah, to interact within the program. And I have experience in React in professional, also in private uh, projects. And my opinion is React has yeah, good sides and bad sides. What is the advantage of React? Yeah, React has advantages. And one of the advantages is the, the JSX and TSX are great. That means that I can embed a HTML code in my source code. And I find this is a great way to implement because this then is HTML, an integral um, yeah, part of the language and or fields it's like an integral part of the language. And it makes sense that you have integrated in JavaScript or TypeScript. Yes, and the second what part what I really could find is rendering is fast. Uh, I have not see a lag or something that I say, okay, it's wrong, it's too slow or so. Maybe the yeah, application was not so big that I have a, a struggle with that, but uh, in my point of view is fast enough. Yes, what's, what is the disadvantage of React? Yeah, React has disadvantages on my point of view and then emphasize my point of view. The data scope is inside the function element. That means set state and use effects. Um, yeah, set state, uh, I emphasize set state. Set states, the, the living time of set states, the data in this definition is inside the living side of the function or the environment of the function. The function has an internal environment and when this function are rendered, then is, has we a link to this function and the state within. And when we new render and we create a new function, then we must use a new set state. When we only rendered without a new function, the functions already exist on the um, on the display, then it's okay, then we can use set state. But we have a problem with this. The complex implementation when you have side effects. When you have side effects, that means, for example, imagine you have a tab, two pages, huh? one pa page A, page B. Page A, you have data inside, an input field, and data uh, side B also, um, input fields, and you can swap with a tab between one page A and page B. Then you get every time a new function element or render element, and that means that you must have this the data upper the inside of or not inside a and b you must have in yeah upper level more to the root and that's make the implementation relative complicated then and we have no model view control concept yeah we have no model what we can create an abstract view on the application view we have it this is a render function and the control yes use effect uh, it's a part of it but it, it's really good in my point of view this is not the best solution yes and this view centric approach yeah uh, is in react implemented but not the model implementation the model is so important when I create an application and the application is more complex, then it's it's terrible when I don't have a model. Then make this the, uh, the implementation of the application complicated. 
Yes, what is the solution? And for the solution, we use an observer pattern. Now what is an observer pattern? I make a short introduction. We have a subject, the subject contains data X, and we have methods to change the data within the subject. And every time when you change the data with the methods, or we have other tools, that, uh, the subject recognize, oh, data X are changed, then we call trigger function. And the trigger function is connected to the subject and the trigger function yeah, calls, but not the trigger function, the subject calls the observer and tell them trigger your, yeah, this is the data has been triggered. Here's the data, do something. That's all. This is the observer pattern. And I use here in uh, my implementation or in my, yeah, what I think it's a good library is here a Mobix library. Mobix is an observer pattern, it exists also different other uh, libraries, but Mobix is uh, quite simple in my point of view and um, yeah, it's helps, but easy to use. This is in this case, uh, very important, I don't need a complicated uh, library. Maybe when you have other observer pattern that are more and more complex and your subject is, mm, yeah, and the, the trigger is uh, more difficult to, yeah, dependent on something, then maybe you use an other library. But in this case, here is Mobix a good solution. And I uh, present you a design pattern, my own design pattern. Uh, Mobix has uh, already a design pattern for React, but in my point of view, it is mm, not perfect. This is, um, uh, it shows the, the power of Mobix, yes, but when you create your own um, function elements or uh, render elements, then it's, it's difficult. And I show you a design pattern that's in my point of view quite good worked. Yeah, what is the design pattern here or what is, how do you implement this design pattern? I don't show you here in a an, an picture because it's so simple I go directly into source code. Yeah, the source code is, the source code is here in our uh, case, xstore, xstore is a class uh, and this is our model. And the model has data. And the model should be created. We need a constructor. And then we have a uh, Mobix function make auto observable. This, that means when this X store are created, then, yeah, is this object uh, automatically um, an subject? in the design pattern for uh, for an observer model. Yeah, and then we have the render function within the store. This is an integral uh, part. And this gives here in our example um, H1 and this data as a headline. That's all. And yeah, this is the model with a part of the uh, control, but this comes later. And yeah, we need a uh, yeah, variable here in, uh, exactly or in a function. This function is uh, every time the same. Uh, cons export, we say x observer x store and store dot render. That means the x store is is the data and when we define here the data we can in in html use the x x in the future uh, and this will i show you how can we use it uh, we can use uh, here an r store as an other model the model has an x store a link to x store 
an instance of x star. I create a constructor. I have a render function. I say x star star is this star x star, and that's all. Uh, when I call a star, uh, then and the render function, I create here uh, in h1 this data everything what was was an x store yeah and i have uh, a line when i wish a observable store store renderer that's all uh, then i can use a for the uh, to display the a store yeah and then we go to the control the control we have a button store and yeah the button has an action and label what is the content uh, go save and so on and the action here uh, initialize with the empty action or empty function we have our constructor we render this we have a return and we say button on click this action and this label and this described our view on the button store i have added here in const button observer exactly the same store and uh, store dot renderer and how we can use it we can use like this bs is new button store bs action and then we can uh, put everything I have three dots you can imagine logging and so on every 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 other action and then I say button store BS button and that's all so we make here and repeat and deep breath and repeat where is the model view and the control I have to tell you model view control and I am explain this again. A uh, model. A model is everything what you see here in green. The bu class button store with a label and the constructor, but not the make auto observable. And the all getter setter and methods that are more mm, uh, uh, business function methods, uh, rest calls, and so on. Uh, this is and part more from model we have our view part the view part you see uh, below uh, export const button and the store store dot renderer and uh, the renderer function itself except with on click with this action and yeah this describe the view of your model and we have our control action, the make observable, this, this action in on click and the observer uh, function to get an, yeah, an observable function that we use in our uh, HTML code like button. Here you see it uh, on the glance and Green is the model, control, and view. It's a little bit mixed up, but it's nearly good, or in my point of view, uh, you can good separate it the, the different parts. And yeah, this is my <laughs> approach, how I would like to implement yeah, applications in React without hooks. In the next video, I will show you a real world example and how you set up a new project and implement the simple web application. And this will be available on GitHub. The last what I want to hear or see from you is what do you think? Write your opinion in the comments and I will read this when you find this design model good then give, please me, give me a thumbs up uh, 
other <laughs> thumbs down when you dislike, it's also okay. And yet, let us see you in the next video. Bye.